similar demonstration was held in northwest suburban Palatine, where hundreds of people gathered to protest the visit of a local congressman. CBS 2's Sandra Torres joins us live now to explain. Sandra. Well, my, the Palatine Township Republican Organization invited Congressman Peter Roskam out here to speak to its members during their monthly meeting. At first, organizers say this was open to the public, but then they had to close it to the public due to high demand. As Congressman Peter Roskam met with members of the Palatine Township Republican Organization indoors, this is what democracy looks like. Hundreds of protesters gathered outdoors to capture the yeah, congressman's who's attention. Who's district? Our district. We need him to listen to us and to um, put his foot down on Muslim ban, on health care. Um, you just, you name it. Our district. You know you're doing something right when you're attracting attention. Representative Roskam has attended these monthly meetings in the past, meant to address concerns from his constituents. We're here the first Saturday of every month, and this is the first time we've seen him in seven years. Among the protesters, attorney Hannah Garst, well, I really who volunteered at O'Hare Airport last weekend to help passengers detained because of President Trump's executive order. I called his office immediately after O'Hare and said, hey, you haven't said anything on this Trump ban. And I'm, I'm shocked. And while the protest remained peaceful, Palatine police briefly removed a man for trying to go into the meeting without permission. It's a little intimidating to walk into um, a situation like that, but you know, everyone has a right to free speech. For us, bring on as many protesters as you can. Bring them all because all they do is, this is what democracy looks like. Is bring our base. And local and national groups were behind these protests, but Congressman Roskin's uh, spokesperson told me in a statement that these national groups are free to come into our community and exercise their First Amendment, but it's not going to keep him from speaking to his constituents. Reporting live from Palatine, Sandra Torres, CBS 2 News. My. Thank you, Sandra.